Hello everyone. Welcome back to My Diamond Addiction. This is Valerie. Uh, tonight we are going to unbox... Nope, this one is not a new frog. This one is Diamond Art Club. Uh, I ordered it on December 13th. It was shipped also on December 13th. And it was delivered December 16th for a total of three days. I've been, I've had this one on my wish list for a long time, and I finally just decided to order it. So let's open it up, and we will see what's in here. Alright, I'll get this one out of the way. So here is my Diamond Art Club kit. It is, oh, awful, it's bouncing back and forth between my phone, Woo! between my, my phone here and the picture. So, it's this. There we go. This is a gorgeous box. I love it. Uh, they call this Fire and Ice. It is a 62 by 42. And we're going to go ahead and open this thing up. Maybe. Anyway, it came inside the big box. And then the big box had this box and some paper stuff in it to protect it. So this box is absolutely beautiful and flawless. See that? Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. We'll just open this box up, and we've got the canvas, and the beads, and the kit. So, inside this, and it's a, it's a thicker plastic case for it, we've got oh, the blue pen. And a blue grippy and some baggies and oh the clear tray a three placer and two hearts of wax they're hearts I love them yes I am one of those people who won't use them I've got so much other wax that I don't need to use the really cute ones. I just put a, a blue bead that had fallen out. I put it in here in the bag. Uh, I'm looking and it looks like I may have one blue bag that has exploded in here. So we'll have to be really careful with that. Okay, let's open this canvas and take a look. Of course, it is the really soft canvas. And sparkly and beautiful and oh my gosh, look at that thing. Look at that. That is going to be gorgeous. Um, it shows on there priced at $48.95. It looks like I may have had, I don't know, 5 per 10 percent maybe. Nope, 5 percent off coupon. Anyway, I paid $46.05 for it. It is a full, it is a round. Uh, with AB 
It's supposed to have AB gems in here also. Again, I don't I don't know if I will open that or not. It has excuse me, has 33 colors. I got the hiccups. Uh, 33 colors, full round, holy gorgeous. I am completely and totally addicted to anything wolf-ish. My husband is uh, collects eagles. So you can imagine the, the stuff we have around the house where you see eagles and wolves together. Uh, but I just really like this. I've liked it for a long time. I just kept putting off ordering, putting off ordering, putting off ordering, and I finally just ordered it. So let's go ahead and flip this over. So I'm opening these beads on a white surface. Oh, there is definitely an exploded bag in here. All right, I am going to go ahead and pause. I'm going to take this out, copy this, do inventory, make sure I have all the colors, and then we'll come back and and take a look at the the different colors that are in it. Okay, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so this video just took a really random turn. Uh, I do have an available craft mates, a lockables. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just kit this up and get it ready. So I did grab some tag questions, but I'll get this started first and then maybe answer some of those. <coughs> Taylor was supposed to be spending the night at her her mom and dad's tonight, but she got homesick. She wanted to come home, so she's back now. So that was a really long pause. I mean, for you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, for you guys it was a minute or a split second. Uh, for me it was, I don't know, a couple hours. <laughs> so I did copy the canvas. And I made all the stickers for my numbers, so you guys wouldn't have to sit here and watch me try to write them. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and open these up and pour them in, and I'll show you the different colors. This one is 132, and it is uh, one of the AB gems that comes with this kit, and there are two good-sized bags of those. So I'll put the 132 on here, and I'll go ahead and cut these open. <clears throat> Pour them in. I do have uh, some of these Gain Fireworks things. I've poured some into the lid in case there are, in case there is static in any of these drills. I know the 939s that are in this all over throughout this bag. Uh, I know they have some static because I try to chase them around that plastic bag over there and they go everywhere. So there's 132 and then 138 is the other set of AB gems. So to do these lockables, you can lift up on this all you want to, but unless you push this button right here, once you push it, it opens real easy. But if it's not pushed, it, it's just not opening. Alright, so that one is 138 which is a gorgeous turquoise with an AB color to it. The next 
next color is 307 and it's this yellowish color right here not yellowish it is very yellow oh, so anyway Taylor came home um, we got her all cleaned up and ready for bed she had pajama day at school today so she got to wear her pajamas to school. She thought that was the coolest thing in the entire world. And her mom picked her up from school while I was at work. And then she hung out over there with her mom and her dad and her sister for a little while. And then she decided she wanted to come home. All right, and then the next color is 310. And we all know what 310 looks like. Oh, well, these are really shiny and pretty. I do love Diamond Art Club's drills. They are gorgeous. Finished off another week of work. That's always fun. Love Fridays. They're usually a pretty calm day at work. I use it to clean off my all the piles of paperwork that I have on my desk throughout the week. Use Fridays kind of for some organization and preparation for Mondays because Mondays are anything but calm. There's 327. These are called get to know me tag questions. So I guess here's where you get to learn a little bit about me. Uh, the first question is, where did you grow up? That's kind of a, an interesting question for me, actually. This one's 333, it's purple. I was born in Minnesota, lived there for the first I believe six years of my life. My mom and my biological father got a divorce and we moved to Nevada. Uh, we have lived, I grew up in several different parts of Nevada. Um, pretty much small towns but several different parts of Nevada. So I've got Minnesota, parts of Nevada. Uh, in Utah, we've lived in Sandy and one of the towns right outside Sandy. I'm, I want to say Draper, but I'm not sure if that's it. Uh, we've lived in Ridgefield and uh, now we live in, in southern Utah, down where it's warmer and not so cold as it is up north. So I pretty much grew up in Minnesota, Nevada, and Utah. That color is 356. Um, my mom married my stepdad, whom I consider my dad, uh, and they got married when I was 11. He was an, an electrical mechanical engineer and did a lot of construction work, so he traveled um, a lot. But the companies that he worked for did fly him home a lot, so we did get to spend a lot of time with him. But And then when I was somewhere in my teen years, um, he was quite a bit older than my mom, so he retired and my mom kept working. There's the first seven, seven colors all done in there. 
My mom kept working. And my dad stayed home. They kind of swapped roles a little bit. My mom worked. My dad stayed home and took care of me and my brother. Made sure we had breakfast before we went to school. All that kind of stuff. Uh, this is all of this is four ninety eight, which is the next color. Um, between the time I was six and eleven, we lived in Nevada. Uh, my mom moved close to her sister. We actually moved in with my aunt for a while, and then we got our own house. And then we moved to Richfield, Utah, and my mom went to college there and got a degree in drafting. And that's actually how she met my dad. Uh, during that, that span of time, uh, from the time I was six, my little brother was three. Yeah, so I'd get up in the morning, I'd get me ready for school, I would get him ready for daycare, which was just right around the corner and up the road, it was like three blocks away. And then I would walk him to daycare, and then I would go to school. Now if you tried doing something like that now, oh man, you'd get in trouble. But back then it wasn't such a big deal. Uh, I just dropped him off at daycare, went to school. After school, I would walk to daycare, pick him up, bring him home. Uh, and then we'd play and goof around and stuff until my mom got home. And then she'd cook us dinner and we'd watch movies and... Okay, this is staticky because they're sticking to the top. <clears throat> we'd watch movies and hang out. So I'm just taking a couple of these things and dropping them in there with the beads. And I'll close it up. See, that one popped out. I'll put that one actually back in there. And close it up. So it just stays in there with the staticky beads and it's killing the static. Anyway, my mom would get home and she'd make dinner and we'd hang out, play games, watch movies, things like that. So my childhood was a little bit all over the place. After she married my dad, things calmed down for us a little bit. So that was a really long answer to a pretty simple question. Minnesota, Nevada, Utah. That's where I grew up. Where do you currently live? Oh, well, I just answered that. I live in St. George, Utah. Um, about an hour to an hour and a half away from Vegas. Yeah, that's where I live now. Uh, who is who is your first best friend? My first best friend right now would definitely be my husband, hands down. There's 742. He is my husband, my best friend. Uh, he is who I call when I'm happy, I call when I'm mad, I call when I'm sad. He is just my best friend. I can tell him anything and everything. Okay, how tall are you? I am 5'6". So I guess average height for a woman? That's me, average height. 7'75". Uh, dogs or cats? Question number five. I like both. We've had cats, we have dogs now, uh, but overall I prefer dogs. I liked our, our cats that, so we had two cats at one time. One was really calm and one was really hyper. And the one that was really hyper was kind of a turd. 
um, she would run all over the place, just crazy like. And one time she ran up in the window seal above the computers and knocked a big old glass of water right down onto the computer, one of the computers. Yeah. Um, right now we've got a pit bull mix and two Pomeranians. We had a Chihuahua, but he passed a few months ago. There's $7.97. Uh, so yeah, right now we have three dogs, all females. The Pomeranians are getting older. They were full-blooded sisters. They are full-blooded sisters, and we got them at the same time. Uh, and we got them in 2004 when they were just puppies. So that makes them what, 15 years old. Okay, so I either just math really good, or I really just kind of embarrassed myself, but 2019, 2004, yeah, they're 15 years old. Um, they're starting to show their age a lot more. They're not as playful as they used to be. Eight, 14. But we still love them. They're amazing. Zeta is our pit bull mix. And she is the most well-behaved, polite, child-loving dog I have ever seen. Seriously, if anybody tried to ever come in our house and grab Taylor, they wouldn't make it to her. Um, the grandkids have crawled all over her. Head to toe. 820. And she just lays there and lets them. Uh, if they fall off the couch and land on her or whatever, she might growl a little bit, but she has never attempted to bite any anybody, especially the kids. Okay, there's the second set done. And I'm, okay, I'm seeing, I'm gonna go ahead and put these a couple of these in each one of these because when I turned that over they started sticking to the top so I'm gonna go ahead and stick those in there anyway back to Zeta um, I know a lot of people say be careful of pit bulls they're so mean I mean Zeta can be mean she doesn't like other dogs near her yard um, but she's never mean towards anybody in our household. Even if you give her, you hold out a piece of steak in front of her face, she won't take it till you tell her she can, that she can. And she just reaches out so soft and just gently just takes it from you. My Pomeranians will eat your hand. Okay, so we're in the 900s here. I sorted these out by numbers so that they would be easier to do. These are all the 900s. Okay, so there is 900. <coughs> so, yeah. Sasha and Tasia, those are our two little female Pomeranians. And, oh gosh, that's some severe static. Zeta is our, our pit bull mix. Excuse my silence here for a second. I'm concentrating on getting all of those into there because Wow, the static on those ones is pretty bad. They're kind of sticking to me all over. So we'll drop a few of those in there. I ended up with one up in there. Now it's stuck on me. Okay, I think I finally got them all in there.
Oof -da. Yeah, that static's bad in there. And it's pretty bad in there too. So up until 900, we were pretty good. 900 is extremely staticky. I've got 900s everywhere. If I remember, I'll edit that small bit of silence out of there because I was focused on what I was doing and not that I was recording. Okay, next question. We talked about enough about my dogs. What year were you born? Uh, I was born somewhere between 1970 and 1972. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I really was, though. I was born in 1971. You have some people that are really weird about telling people their age. No, nope, I was born in 1971. I don't care. Are you in or have you gone to college? Yes, I've gone to college. Uh, I've started college for several different things. Probably could have a, a degree of some kind by now, but just couldn't decide what I really wanted to do. I took some classes in accounting. Holy heck, they're far over here. Um, I wanted to be a an attorney so I took some law classes and then I decided I wouldn't I can argue with the best of them so that part of me would make a great attorney but I couldn't I couldn't defend a person that I knew was guilty I would be horrible at that. Um, a person that was innocent, I could defend. But what if I didn't do it good enough and they went to jail anyway? That would suck. 9.15. And I couldn't prosecute. I didn't want to prosecute people. I didn't want to be a prosecuting attorney. Because what if somebody guilty went free? because of some mistake I made. Nope, don't want that kind of responsibility. Don't like it, don't need that. Uh, so then I thought I would be a, a civil attorney, but the classes for that just weren't as fun. So I didn't want to do that either. Um, then I was going to do computer programming. I worked in a computer office. Uh, I was office manager and project manager for a, a company that handled computer programming and stuff and no, nope. watching them sit there and do those hours and hours of coding, no thank you. Uh, 939 is the one that's all over the bag right there. So I think, oh, well let's see if I can make a mess. Um, so I went to college, did several different things, couldn't decide what I actually wanted to do. <clears throat> so I never went for a degree of any kind. I could be an eternal student like a student just forever 
I love school. I love learning. But never did make up my mind what I wanted to do. So now I just, I'm an office manager for a construction company. Technically I own my, I own my own business. So I contract myself out to them to do their accounts payable, accounts receivable, payroll, job tracking, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, what is your favorite drink? Um, these are 947. My favorite everyday drink? Pepsi. My favorite once every few years I drink an alcoholic drink would be either a Long Island iced tea if they're made right. If they're not made right, they're horrible. Or a strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, I think those would be my favorite drinks. I'm pretty much a Pepsi drinker. I drink Pepsi at work and water. But it has to be ice water. I can't drink like lukewarm water. That's just gross. There's 976. Uh, what is your spirit animal and why? I have always said that my spirit animal is a wolf. Um, just because I have been obsessed is kind of strong. Intrigued, fascinated, almost obsessed. Uh, with wolves since I was little. 977. I have always loved anything to do with wolves. And there's those colors. So, yep, that would be my spirit animal. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Oh, gosh. I don't, I don't know. My husband just got it for me for Christmas. Um, I think he got it at the mall. It smells really good. It's in a pretty pink bottle. Couldn't tell you what it's called. But I like it a lot. $9.95. I'm going to just drop these in here because it looks like after I put them in these uh, that they're getting staticky. So it may just be these containers. I probably should have wiped them out before I put beads in them, but I didn't. Okay. Tea or coffee? That depends. If I'm, if it's in the morning, coffee every time. Uh, if it's in the evening, tea. If I'm not feeling well, tea. Um, if I could only pick one, coffee. <laughs> I do like me some coffee. Oh, what are your life's goals? My life's goals, huh? <clears throat> that's, that's an interesting question. I think my biggest life goal is, here's 996, to be the absolute best wife, mom, grandma, if I live long enough, hopefully, great grandma, sister, that I, daughter, that I can possibly be. I want to, I just want all the people around me to know that I love them and they mean stuff to me. So my life goals would always have to do with my family.
Other than that, I'd like to make a ton of money and buy my own diamond painting company. No, not really. Although that does sound like fun. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely be just to be the best person that I can be. Okay, here's 3325. What sports do you play or have you played? Uh, I don't play any sports now. When I was in, gosh, maybe elementary school, I guess that would, yeah, it would probably be elementary school, I played basketball. Liked that. My mom's got some goofy looking pictures of me playing basketball. Um, but I did like that. That was cool. I have played volleyball, 3350. I have played softball. Not real good at baseball. They throw it too fast and it kind of freaks me out. Softball I was really good at. Uh, did some bowling. did a lot of bowling when I lived in Minnesota with my biological father for a little bit when I was 16. Yep, did a lot of bowling there. Uh, I don't know, I think that's about it. As far as sports, wasn't really a sports person. 3371. Oh, I tried golfing once. That was horrible. I don't see how anybody enjoys golfing. I'm sorry to those of you that enjoy golfing, but wow, not for me at all. Okay, let me turn this heater off. It's getting warm in here. Woo, okay. Um, have any books you read changed your life? I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. That was that was a pretty good book. Gave me a different outlook on things. Other than that, I haven't really read a lot of books that would change my life. I'm working on some self-improvement stuff now, but I haven't finished it, so. Alright, next question. What is your favorite movie? <laughs> Well, my favorite movie, 3778, has been Pretty Woman. Forever. Um, anybody that knows me knows that's my favorite movie. I don't really watch it anymore. But if it came on again, I would watch it. I just don't really go searching it out. I don't watch a lot of, a lot of movies and things on TV. Uh, but if I saw it on TV, I would definitely watch it again. How long will I divide out the 3300s? Uh oh. Oh. I lied. They're 3800s. <laughs> 41, 43, 46, 37, 46. And 54. Okay. Yep, so Pretty Woman. That's 3837. That's a really pretty purple. I don't know, I think it's probably somebody, something to do with somebody coming from nothing, going through everything she goes through and ending up at the top. Just something about those kind of movies I like. Who are your favorite YouTubers? This is a dangerous question because I don't want to. I don't want to miss anybody. Um, my favorite favorite person to watch on YouTube is Ella. Love watching her videos. Um, Stitcherista. Danielle, great videos. Love hers too. Uh, she's doing this this weight loss thing, and I don't. 
I don't need to lose weight. I don't intend to lose weight, but just watching her progress as she's losing weight, I love it. I think I think she's amazing. Um, dearly crafted. I like. I really like watching her videos. Uh, who else do I watch all the time? I've just started expanding out watching new. Wendy, gone off my meds. Really like her videos. Uh, Allison Rosen, she's amazing. Thirty-eight forty-one. Allison, where are you? Come back and make more videos. Um. There's a lot of people that I watch, but those are the ones that I watch all the time. Uh, Abstract Crafter, Brandy, she's another really good one. Yep, but hands down, Ella's got it. Love the Ella videos. Do you speak any languages and how well? 3843? Yes. I speak English. And I speak it pretty gooder. No, really, I, I speak English pretty well. Um, I took Spanish for two years in high school. And I can tell you colors. Uh, what is the date? I can count. Uh, and I can ask you where the bathroom is. And what time it is. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And swear words. I could swear at you in Spanish a little bit. Other than that, that's all the languages that I speak. Um, are you single or taken? Well, that depends on how bad my husband has irritated me that day. No, just kidding. For real, I'm very, 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 very happily taken. What is your idea of a dream date? Oh gosh. A dream date for me, I guess, would be just me and my husband having time to ourselves. I don't even care where it's at. Just give us some time to ourselves. We've got kind of a, a crazy life between his job, my job, kids, grandkids. We've got some craziness going on. Uh, if we could take off for a weekend, go anywhere where we didn't have any phone service, 3853, uh, and just to be together, him and I, I don't care what we do. We can go hiking, we can go fishing, we can go eat, we can go to the movies. We can go, we can go wherever he would like to go. Uh, how long was your longest relationship? Well, this year, Hubby and I will be celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. We've been together longer than that, but married for 25 years. And that would definitely be my longest one. My first marriage lasted about a minute and a half. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe your fashion sense? Well, jeans, t-shirts. Relaxed. I would describe my fashion sense very relaxed. I'm too busy to do anything else. What is your go-to hairstyle? I go to the mirror every morning and pull it up in a ponytail and go to work because that's the amount of time that I have. How many siblings do you have? One. I have one brother. All right, there's the last colors for that. So this one is now all kitted up and ready to go.
And we're almost done with the tag questions anyway. So, do you use PC or a Mac? I have both. Uh, for a long time, I really loved my Mac. But now I've been using a PC for so long that using a Mac might be confusing to me now. Oh, look, I'm making a mess. Yay me! Oh, here's a good one. Do you have any bad habits? Nope. I'm perfect. I do nothing bad. <laughs> okay, let's be realistic. Of course I have bad habits. Uh, the first one is... I have a potty mouth. Yep, I do. Uh, the second one is... I vape. I smoked since I was 13. I quit five years ago six years ago, something like that, uh, and I vape. I drive fast. I have a lot of bad habits. We could be here all night just discussing my bad habits, but those are probably my worst ones. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Hmm. a really bad potty mouth. See, if I wouldn't have told you that on my bad habits, that'd be one thing you don't know. Oh, one thing you don't know about me. Other than my diamond painting, the rest of my life, chaos. Complete chaos. Totally unorganized. Totally everywhere. And if you've seen my organization videos, you will know that my diamond painting is completely different. I can I can go to bed without washing my dishes upstairs. Whatever, I'll get it tomorrow. I can't go to bed without cleaning up my diamond painting stuff. Doesn't even matter if it's two in the morning when I realize what time it is, I've gotta clean up my diamond painting stuff. I have to know where all my diamond painting stuff is. And all this started because this massive panic freak out of having to know where everything is started because I have a diamond painting right here that I have done this much on. It's a partial. I've done that much, so I've got all through here to do still, and then a little bit in through here. And I don't know where my drills are for this. I don't know where I put them. I have searched everywhere. I know what kind of container they're in, but I can't find them. And ever since that happened, mm -mm, I've been crazy about it. Everything is inventoried. I know where every single thing is. I, this just doesn't happen. I don't spend money for diamond paintings to get it that complete and not be able to finish it. And it doesn't even have DMC codes with it. So I don't know what color they are. Could I match them? Sure, the ones that I have on here. What about the rest of them? Eh, probably not. So ever since that happened, I have to know where everything is, which is why I have binders and binders and binders of information. Most of it I probably don't really need, but it has to be that way. So that when I go to bed at night, I can sleep without worrying about, did I lose more diamonds? So there you go. I might also be a little bit OCD. Um, I may have a little bit of anxiety, which is why you'll see my leg randomly bouncing in my videos. That's natural. I don't even know that I'm doing it. And when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, look, there you go again, bouncing your leg. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's one thing about me or a couple things about me that you may not have known. All right, so this turned into the longest unboxing I've ever done. Because it was an unboxing, and let's kit it up and let's get it ready to go. 
So, Diamond Art Club. This one's called Fire and Ice. It's extremely gorgeous. I haven't done anything to this canvas, but just let it relax and look how it's slightly curled up here at the ends. But that's it. The rest of this canvas is laying by itself. Love that. Um, drill field looks really clear. I'll show you, but you probably won't be able to see it because that's how I roll. Whoa, I must have dropped that. Yeah, but it looks really good. It's really shiny, sparkly, like like all Diamond Art Club's canvases are. Took three days to get here. I paid $46.05. Copied myself an inventory sheet. Kitted it up. Would I order from Diamond Art Club again? Absolutely. I love Diamond Art Club and I will order from them as often as I find something that I really, really want and can afford. Uh, 62 by 42, full round, some AB gems. Think that sums it up. Oh, guess what? I hit 1,000 subscribers today. I can't believe I forgot to mention that until just now. 1,000 subscribers, 1,000 of you have decided that my videos are worth watching. I am completely blown away by that. Shocked. Uh, when I started my channel, I figured, obviously, my kids. So, you know, there's at least four of them would, would decide that they wanted to, would want to subscribe. Uh, I figured maybe 15, 20 people might want to hear what I have to say. 1,000 subscribers I hit today. And I started this channel, I don't know, not very long ago. I will actually put the date of my first video right here, somewhere, through here. And if you want to see something horrible, up in the eye, wherever the eye is going to be up there somewhere, I will link my very first video. Oh my gosh, I watched that earlier today and I laughed so hard. It is horrible, horrible, horrible. And I had some very, very nice people say some very nice supportive things to me when I first did that video. So if you need a laugh, seriously, click the I. Check it out. You will laugh. Uh, I do thank you all for subscribing. Never, ever, ever thought it would get, I would get to a thousand subscribers. So whatever giveaway I do in January will be something bigger. Why? It's the first giveaway of 2019 and I hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all. I love you all. God bless you all. If anybody has any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I am not as quick as an at answering questions and comments as I would like to be, but I will get there. Um, I have had some requests while doing my new frog unboxings that I will try to start implementing and doing. Um, yeah, now I'm just rambling because we got started on my 1,000 subscribers and I lost my friggin' mind. Um, questions, comments, leave them down below. Forgive me if it takes me a minute. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you want to, the little bell. That'll tell you when I randomly upload stuff. I uh, thank you all for watching, subscribing. I hope you all have an amazing night. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.